confused about Azure Spot instance and under what scenario you can utilize this service, let's try to understand in today's session in IT Simplified. And like always, if you're liking these sessions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this content. Now, Azure provides you different ways so that you can you save your money against your Azure resources. And Azure Spot instance falls under that category. You can make a saving of up to 80% as compared to a regular VM deployment. Azure Spot instance can be used for test and dev. So if you're trying to test your application and uh, maybe for batch processes, it's a great case scenario, but it does come with its own limitation. For example, you don't get any service level agreement or SLAs with Azure Spot Instance deployment. Promotional series machines such as B series, NC, NV series, and certain H series machines can be deployed under Azure Spot Instance. And your machines can be deallocated or deleted with 30 second notification. You need to specify eviction policy when you're trying to deploy Azure Spot Instance, and it can be based on two parameters the capacity and the maximum price point you're ready to pay. For example, if you specify the capacity when Microsoft requires that instance, your machine can be deallocated or deleted. And you can also specify maybe the maximum price range you're ready to pay for that specific instance. And as soon as that machine hits that maximum price range, your machine can be deallocated or deleted. Now, if you have specified that your machine should be deallocated, you will still continue to pay the disk attached to that particular machine. But if you have specified deleted, your entire machine, including your disk, will be deleted. Something important to point out, even if you have specified that your machine should be deallocated, because there is no service level agreement attached to Azure Spot instance, you don't get 100% guarantee that when Microsoft does not require that capacity, you will still have that machine to be spun up. Hopefully this gives you an idea about Azure Spot Instance. With this, let me just switch over to the Azure portal to show you where you can find the service. All right, so I'm logged into the Azure portal with admin credential and going through the standard process of creating a VM. And if I scroll down, you can see under the image, I have run with Azure Spot Instance. So right now for DS3 version 2, under standard process, I'll be paying $367.92 monthly. But let's see when I check this box. It allow me to specify the eviction policy based on two parameters, maybe capacity or the maximum price I'm ready to pay for this specific instance. And for capacity, you can see this machine, I'll be paying 0 0.07827 per hour. So let's say for the number's sake, let me just do a quick math here. So I'm going to say 0 0.07827. And uh, typically there are 730 hours on an average in a month. So if I multiply this, you see I'm getting $57.13. That is what I'm going to pay for Azure Spot instance versus 367 which is uh, otherwise under the normal case scenario. So it's a great foot for if I'm trying to use this for test and dev and for batch processes, right? And the other option is the price point. What is the maximum price point I'm ready to pay for this specific instance? And uh, you can see that my price range should be more than 0 0.07827. So I can say 0 0.079 maybe. Right, so I can pay more than this and when that threshold is reached, my machine can be deallocated or delete. But as I said that, if you put say deallocated, whatever disk attached to this particular machine, you'll be still paying for that. But if you say delete my machine, when the capacity reaches or that price point reaches, my machine as well as the disk attached to that will be deleted. So it has some pros and cons. It's very critical that uh, what scenario you want to use this Azure Spot instance because there's a lot of savings to be made. But again, you need to consider that your machine can be removed or deallocated or delete with a 30 second notification. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.